How's it going everybody, Jordan here, and in today's video I'm going to go over the Greek Heroes Legendary set for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Let's get right into it. This is a super tanky warrior set build. This build on Nightmare is literally unkillable. I swear, that's not clickbait. This build receives almost no damage. I'm going to get right into the details right now, but remember, if you like the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Let's get right into it. This is a very underrated tanky playstyle for a legendary set. Let's talk about the set bonus. It gives you a 30% all resistance bonuses. This is to melee resistance, range resistance, and elemental resistance. If you apply chance to ignore half damage amongst many other tanky abilities on top of this build, you can get to a point where you could have five mercenaries on you and an entire fort attacking you all at the same time and deal literally almost no damage. So all you need is a health boost from either the healing ability or restoring health health on damage to get that health back and almost not die. But the cool part is, is there is ways to increase the damage with this build so you can still kill people relatively quickly. And the best part is how you get this legendary build is not through paying through the Helix store, but by acquiring it by killing mercenaries already in the game. So if you have the game, you're killing mercenaries this is a build you could get today and build for yourself let's get right into the details of it so for the gear and engraving the primary weapon i use is from the main storyline it's called the staff of hermes tris magistus Hopefully I said that correctly. Correct me in the comments if I obviously pronounced it very wrong. But the unique part about this spear is the fact that it's the only weapon that has 28% chance to ignore half damage. And what's amazing about that is stacked with that engraving on your head and on your waist plus masteries, that percentage chance can get over 100%. Meaning on top of all the resistances and health and armor with this tanky build, the damage you do get is lopped in half which if you've watched the footage you'll see barely your health bar moves at all as people are hitting you which is really cool and the bonus is the legendary engraving with this weapon is a low chance to gain on top of that a 30% health shield which happens quite often and for them to deplete that 30% health shield when they hit you your enemies stagger back allowing you to kill them this build is incredibly fun to play because of those features on the secondary weapon I have damage with spear and poison damage to try to again I'm using the secondary weapon to try and boost my damage with this build and then here is up to you so because you're so tanky even on nightmare applying the engraving hundred percent damage but health cap to 25% makes a lot of sense here because even with only 25% of your health you absorb a lot of hits so if you want to deal even more damage and clear people out quicker you can apply that engraving on your second weapon but if if you love the full tankiness and you don't want to deal with the 25% health, 30% armor penetration here also will do a lot of damage for you. On the bow we have warrior crit chance because we want more damage with the critting and then poison damage because we want more damage with that and then we have the stair ops bow engraving here for an additional 20% health and armor. On the head we have chance to ignore half damage again we're reducing what damage we do receive after armor after resistance in half. And then I put 14% crit chance because most, if not all, high damage builds are based off of critting. And you're going to be at full health 99.9% .9 of the time with this build if you're healing and you have health restore with it. And so you want to be able to crit. On the arms, we have health warrior. And I engraved more melee resistance to make it more tankier. On the chest, we have poison damage, armor, and warrior damage. Again, poison to increase more of that poison damage on the primary weapon and then the waist we have chance to ignore half damage to put it over a hundred percent chance to ignore half damage more melee resistance and warrior damage and then on the boots we have warrior damage elemental resistance and more crit chance to deal more damage all right let's look at the abilities this is a almost no assassin no hunter build i put a couple points into six cents always the slow time for being noticed is a very good ability in all builds for you to kind of recognize and make a plan uh, once someone recognizes you. But the main key abilities is Bull Rush to rush in and assault 
enemies and it deals a lot of damage so it's a primary damage dealer with this build you have health to get that health back to get you back to full health very quickly so that you can start critting with this build and then ring of chaos for crowd control you will get swarmed it won't be that big of a deal if it's getting to be too much and you're not able to parry you can blow everyone back we have the passives for weapon masters and uh, gear master to have more attack damage and defense and then overpowered attacks and then the battle cry of Ares to give us that 50% damage increase so that we can deal a bit more damage that way all right let's look at the masteries in the warrior tree I put eight points in the health eight points in the total armor 15 points into melee resistance. This is, again, to keep pushing all the tankiness over the top. And then I put eight points into damage dealt restored as health because what damage you do receive, you can just get back with a couple hits. On the assassin tree, we're looking at elemental resistance, chance to ignore half damage, crit damage while at full health, and then crit chance while full health. Again, those two are meant for increasing the damage output of the build, while these again are meant more for the tankiness. On the hunter side, this is where we get damage with spears. So I put eight points in there to again, increase my damage with my spears. All right, let's get into the ratings for this build. For the overall set bonus rating of 30% all resistances, I give this a five of five. 30% resistance overall, is amazing and extremely tanky. For the damage rating, I give this a three of five. It should be a one of five, but the reason I gave it three is because it's so tanky that you can put the 100% damage engraving on this build and you can get damage out of it while still staying tanky. For the defensive rating, this is probably the only time I'll do this. This build is so tanky that I give this a six of five. I put one over the five because of the fact that on Nightmare, even with mythical creatures, this build absorbs so much damage. For the utility rating, I give this a 4 of 5. There's no inherent utility with the build, meaning there's no adrenaline perks that are on the build, but because of how much attacks you're blocking and how often you're attacking, you don't need additional adrenaline perks. You get natural adrenaline just by the nature of the build, thus making it a 4 of 5. Fun to play, I give this a 5 of 5. On my stream the other day, we were using this build to fight our and he was throwing me around absorbing all that damage being able to kind of train yourself and parry and plan I even went afk with this build used the bathroom and came back with a full fort attacking me and I didn't die uh, it's really fun to play and it's free technically because you don't have to buy it from the helix store so overall this build I give it a 4.6 out of 5 it's incredibly fun to play super tanky and my advice to you is if you haven't played on nightmare or you're trying to this is a great training build to kind of sit there absorb attacks practice your parries practice your dodges and if it's an amazing transition build into the nightmare difficulty or for people who are trying to work on different aspects of the game it's incredibly fun to play Thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. And if you want to see more Assassin's Creed content, remember to click the bell to be notified to my videos. This build was tons of fun to play. If I missed anything, please leave a comment. I'll be responding to as many comments as I possibly can. And I'll see you guys next time.